G'day, Kobe here from Truck TV, and behind me is Australia's first electric truck, the C300, and no, it's not a Hino. Today I'm gonna to show you around, and then I'm gonna drive it and let you know what I think. But first, hit subscribe, please. Well, let's take a closer look at it, so up front, You've got a tried and tested Japanese cab, but it's not a Hino anymore. And then where your motor and gearbox would normally go, you've got battery packs. Uh, now they're nice and low, very low center of gravity. Behind them, you've got this spicy little motor and don't let its size fool you. 1500 Newton meters, which is plenty. Little drive shaft straight to the diff. So it's a direct drive system. And in our eyes, simplicity means less to go wrong. Now, let's take a closer look at how you charge this. And this is where all the magic happens. You've got two charging points up top, fast charger. So in two or three hours, you've got full juice again. Down below, you've got a regular charge, let it run overnight, you're good to go in the morning. Now, a little high-tech feature on this truck is that if you put your phone down, it'll actually wirelessly charge. No, it won't. Let's drive it. Okay, so there's no denying the fact this is based off the popular tried and tested Hino 300. And I was recently, recently in one for a few days. Does it drive differently? It steers like a 300. It feels like a 300 on the road, but there's a couple of differences. Firstly, it accelerates like a performance car, which is definitely something you got to get your head around. It also stops differently. Uh, you have got that regen brake that that I explained does feel a lot like the exhaust brake on a truck, but it's stronger. And when you apply the brakes, it's also applying regen. So you've got a combination of the two working together and the brake feels completely different on these. So driving around the city, it did take me about half an hour to get used to the braking on these. Again, if you own one, you know, you'd adapt to it. But braking on these is, can really be quite abrupt until you're used to it. This thing is so quiet. I can hear my chair squeaking <laughs> underneath me. There's no vibration from a diesel motor. There's no diesel hum. It's completely silent. If I had the windows down, I'd hear the birds chirping. Let's give you an example of the acceleration now. I'm still only using a quarter throttle here, but I'm taking off from a stop sign and I'll... I'm at 40. I'm at 50 and that is car-like acceleration up a hill from a stop sign. To get that out of a truck is a little mind bending. Would I get this over the truck it's based off? Look, it does everything just as well, but it does a couple of things better. It accelerates a lot better and it brakes a lot better due to that regen. So they're pretty critical elements of driving. But this thing doesn't have any gears and Oh, I don't know how I feel about that in a performance application, but in a transport application, I think it makes sense. It's just less going on. Seamless power delivery. There's never a power loss to the rear wheels. There's never a, a short break between shifts. You never lose momentum. I'm barely on the accelerator and this thing just pulls like a train. Now, this thing's not Tesla fast and I don't think C Electric set out to make it, you know, performance car fast, but by truck standards, I can't think of anything that'd get near it. In fact, I don't think any dual cab ute option in the market would get near this thing. It's, it's properly fast. Coming up to a giveaway sign now, and uh, I'm slowing to an almost stop, but I'm having to accelerate up to it. The, the regen brake on this is so good, it's slowing me down too much in, in some cases. And now I'm not driving this thing like a courier would be. I've just dropped 4% in about five minutes, but I am absolutely fanging this little thing around the Dandenong Ranges because science. Speaking of science, here's their slick Dandenong factory just outside of Melbourne. Every 120 hours, this production line spits out an Aussie-made electric truck. It's pretty spotless in here too, but I wouldn't lick the ground.
All right, C300, what do I think? I've driven it for a day, and it's probably the funnest truck I've ever driven. Is the industry ready for it though? We're gonna have to wait and find out. It's not the first, and it won't be the last electric truck. Now, I need a charger big time, not a portable charger, <laughs> idiot.